in a battle of unbeaten big guys. Ed Lattimore came to the sport at age 23, and while he didn't have a long amateur career, he did win the National PAL Championships back in 2011 and the Pennsylvania State Golden Gloves title earlier that year. Lattimore turned pro at 27, and he's 13-0 with seven KOs, albeit against entry-level opposition. He has been active since turning professional, and he comes off a six-round split decision win that was back in July. He's been six rounds five times, so tonight he's stepping up the distance, and he's stepping up the caliber of competition. Steve, take us behind the numbers on Ed Lattimore. Well, speaking of comp, veteran comp, Lattimore hasn't really beaten better opponents than Trey. But here's the difference. Latimer's opponents have fought a combined 278 bouts. Trey Lippy Morrison's opponents, 76 bouts. Just visiting. 10 of Latimer's 13 bouts have been in West Virginia. Nine of Trey's 11 bouts have been right here at Buffalo Run. So major home advantage, Trey. And on the cards, Latimer's a huge step up for Trey. But this worries me. Two of Latimer's three most recent wins were split decisions over opponents who were, respectively, 6 and 3 and 14, 14 and 5. Most impressive stat, 152 IQ. Talking about me? I was. Oh. And Lattimore, too. Trey Lippy Morrison. He's the son of late heavyweight champion Tommy Morrison. Trey played football for three plus seasons in Central Arkansas. He was a defensive end before leaving the squad for a violation of team rules. He then turned to boxing at age 24 after just three months of training. He's won all 11 of his fights, also against entry-level opposition, and all by way of knockout. Lippy Morrison has been trained for the last year by the great Freddie Roach, and he now lives and trains in Hollywood, California. There is Freddie Roach right there. Lippy Morrison never been past two rounds until his last fight. That was in January. Thomas Hawkins extended him to the fourth round before getting stopped. Lippy Morrison tore a tendon in his hand in that fight. That required surgery tonight. He comes off the longest layoff of his young career, and he'll step up the competition in his longest scheduled fight to date. So, Steve, go behind the numbers with Trey Lippy Morrison. Well, we begin, Barry, with baby Trey. Here's some perspective. In four days, Trey will turn 27. This will be his 12th pro bout. On Tommy Morrison's 27th birthday, he already had 49 pro fights. Like father, dot, 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 after 11 bouts, Trey, 11 and 0, 11 KOs. After his first 11 bouts, Tommy Morrison was 11 and 0 with 11 KOs. And cameo appearances. Trey scored a total of 16 rounds and has been out of the second round one time. He's still not a baby, he's still a newborn. So with that, it is time to get this anything can happen battle of neophyte heavyweights started. Trey Lippy Morrison versus Ed Lattimore, six rounds or less. With that, we go once more to the center of the ring and the ring announcer, Thomas Driver. Thomas? Ladies and gentlemen, Showbox, the new generation continues with the big boys of boxing, six rounds scheduled in the heavyweight division. Brought to you by Lou DeBella's DeBella Entertainment and Holden Productions in association with Rock Nation Sports and Showtime, along with their great sponsors, Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, and Azad Watches. Our three judges scoring on a 10-point must system will be Ellis Johnson, Chris Ritter, and David Sutherland. When the bell rings, our referee in charge, the third man in the ring will be Gary Ritter. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 219 pounds. Coming to us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he brings a undefeated record of 13 wins. Seven of his 13 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ed Black Magic Lattimore. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with red, white, and blue, and weighed in at 221 and a half pounds. Hailing from Bonita, Oklahoma, 
a member of your four state franchise. He is undefeated with 11 wins. All 11 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Trey Lippy Morrison. Set to the six rounds. You got your instructions earlier. Give us a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Both trunks are good. Touch your gloves. Go to corner. Tail of the tape for these two. You see the numbers kind of similar size wise. Both of these heavyweights on the small side, at least by today's standards, and both came in a little lighter than usual. I look for a lot of punches early in this one. Same rules as first fight, no standing eight, no three knockdown, only the ref can stop the fight. You can't be saved by the bell in any round, and if there's an accident, the foul that brings a stoppage. Before the end of round four, it's a no decision. After that, we go to the cards. Let's do it, Barry. All right, Ed Lattimore, of course, has to fight not only Lippy Morrison, but also the crowd here in Miami. Morrison, extremely popular. He was raised just up the road here. Crowd has signs saying, Trey might not want to go to the refrigerator here. There's a left hand from Lattimore. This could be who lands first. Could be. Who lands big first. <laughs> Both got set sideways. Two bangers here. And Lattimore is closing the distance quick. He has to. Get down low. That was a nice uppercut. Nice uppercut yeah. Better get this in quick. Trey Lippy Morrison, zero amateur bouts. And Lattimore was a very good amateur. Beat Charles Martin, Dominic Brazil. And pro experience, you see the rounds of Trey Lippy Morrison, only 16 in 11 bouts. The quality of opposition, not a surprise that he's fought so few rounds. That right hand from Morrison just a moment ago probably would have dropped most of his previous opponents, but Lattimore still right there. Don't hold. Good body home. shot from Lippy Morrison. Everything being thrown hard by these guys. Oh, there was a quick left hand. A short punch drops Lattimore. Changes the focus of this fight immediately. Hey, hey walk to me. Put your hands up. Fight. Long way to go, Barry. Yeah, minute 22 to go. Lattimore has been getting close, but not close enough. And another sharp right hand. Lattimore in trouble again. Two right hands and the left hand drops him. Three, four, five, six. Not sure if he's going to be able to walk to the referee here. He does. It goes on still just under a minute to go. Lattimore's lack of experience showing he's not holding, he's not punching back. Yeah. And there's oh. a huge right hand, buckle of knees. Lattimore goes into the ropes again. That's it, it's over. Tommy Morrison, 12-0, 12 knockouts. <laughs> Trey Lippy Morrison, 12-0, 12, 12 knockouts. Tommy was 11-0. <laughs> Look how, look how relieved Tony Holden is, the promoter. He was very worried about this fight because it was such a big step up. He was. And we can't fully appreciate what this fighter means to this crowd. Because Tommy Morrison, his dad, was such a big star here. I, the one thing I have to say, he looks like a fighter. He doesn't look like a football player as a fighter. He looks like a fighter. He's you got real, po real power. Did you see that? I, he got some good leverage on his shots. Took his time, didn't get one. I'm, I'm telling you that he, he's got some good power. I know that I did see. Yeah, and, and that, <laughs> that's why Freddie Roach yes. showed an interest in him. Yes. We, we asked Freddie, any fighter in boxing would like you as his trainer. Why did you take on a kid who had no amateur experience? You're gonna have to teach him so much. He said, I saw natural power. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I we think Freddie is, is teaching him how to stand and get more leverage off them shots. Yeah, that's what and I mean. Freddie, just, Freddie said the reason he went with him. He saw the power and he thought he could teach him to be a boxer. Well, guess what? Look at that. That was a nice, nicely thrown right hand. The technique was right. It wasn't a very long punch. 
Hurt him there with that right hand. And there it is again, taking advantage of the fact that Lattimore's hands were low. And then very shortly after, we saw a second knockdown. Now, obviously, Lattimore's very badly hurt at this point. There's the left hook that made his dad famous. And, you know, we, we don't want to overdo this. It's very early in Trey Lippy Morrison's career, but we have to keep in mind that Freddie Roach, and we take a look at the stoppage, Freddie Roach hasn't really had that much time yet to work with this kid. He's going to get better. Yeah, well, this is very much a, a, a work in progress. But in Ed Lattimore, it still represented a step up. No doubt. From what he has been fighting. And uh, it, well, just from, from Lattimore, you know, I'd, I'd take a look at a fight when he's got amateur background. And, and Lattimore had amateur background. He beat guys like Dominic Brazil and Charles Martin and the amateurs guys. And, you know, Lippy Morrison had no amateur experience. So yeah. that, that shows you something. All right, let's go to Thomas Triber. We'll make it all official here. The crowd's still buzzing. Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 19 seconds of round number one. Our referee in charge, Gary Ritter, steps in, stops the contest, and winner by way of technical knockout, and still undefeated, Trey. Now, Miami, Oklahoma says it wants to be the hotbed of boxing, and with performances like that, and we still got Ivan Baranchuk as an adopted son to come, they may not be far off. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you what's very impressive to me. In the big picture, this fight doesn't mean that much in the heavyweight division. Obviously, these are very, as you put, neo fights. But there was a lot of pressure on this kid tonight. Fighting for the first time on national TV, we see the numbers. He was very calm yesterday at the fighter meetings, very calm today in the hotel, and very calm in the ring. And you see 20 of 29 power shots. Lattimore did not defend himself well. Lattimore started very well, landed some power shots of his own. These are very big numbers for one round of boxing. But Lippy Morrison's power, the difference. He's strong. I don't think there's any question about it. Uh, uh, you know, very much a work in progress. But I'll tell you what, the optimal word there is progress. And the other optimal word is Roach. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> As in Freddie, because, you know, there's not a better trainer in boxing. And Freddie's just starting to get his hands on this kid and teach him more and more. And you pointed it out. First of all, he's a very willing student. But Freddie Roach could have basically any fighter that he really wants. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that young man uh, has been with Trey Lippy Morrison everywhere he's gone this week. It's really nice, really nice relationship. He's a good guy. But as you said, Freddie Roach could have virtually anybody. He opted to go for this guy with no amateur experience. And that's why, right there, the natural power. He saw it the first time he watched Trey Lippy spar. Trey Lippy transit the wild card gym in Hollywood now. And that's a nice big right hand. Now his hands are a little low after he punches. That's something. Freddie's going to have to work on. He's a natural puncher. There's going to be a tendency to go for knockouts. He needs to be stretched out. He needs to fight guys who won't go down this easily. But it's an impressive performance. I'll say it was. I'll say it was. And of course, he is very much the local favorite here. And you have an idea we're going to be back here?